Are you trying to make a game in VR? Don't worry, I got you. In this video, I'll be showing how to set up a project so you can see it in VR, how to add objects, how to make teleport pads to move around in your game, and be able to grab and throw objects as well. Firstly, you're going to want to open up Unity Hub. When you open up Unity Hub, it's going to look something like this. Make sure you're on the exact same version for our VR video game. We're going to click on New Project, and we're going to find the VR package, the VR Core package. We're going to select that, and create a project. It's going to take a while. When you open up the project, it's going to look something like this. You'll see that there's like this whole introduction on how to set up the game in VR, but we can't do that just yet. So we're going to close out of this and we're going to go quickly make sure that we have Steam VR set up. We're going to need that for our game. When you open up the project and look around in the scene, you'll see that there's already a huge plane waiting for us to add stuff to our game, but we can't see it in VR yet. We have to go set that up first. So if you go under edit, click on project settings, you'll see that this window opens up here. And we're going to scroll down on the left and click on XR plugin management. It looks like there's an error under open XR. So to fix that, we're going to go to open XR. And under interaction profiles, we're going to go ahead and add the HTC Vive controller profile. Once we add this in, we should see that OpenXR has no more issues. Close those things out. And if we go ahead and start up our game, it's going to take a while to load. So get your headset ready in the meantime. Awesome! I have my headset on, and I can see the scene in VR. Great! Before we get started, we have to make sure that we have the Steam VR plugin imported. Once we have that imported, we'll be able to add all these different things to our game to make it work. Firstly, we're going to search up Player, and drag in Player into the scene. Once we do that, then we can start adding other objects. So we can add a plane. We can add a material to it. I'm going to import in an, a cube. Make it fly up into the air, change its dimensions, give it some rotation, and let's go check it out in VR. Awesome! So I can see myself on the plane and I can see the cube which I added. Next, we're going to set up teleportation so we can move around in our game. So we're going to search for teleport and add teleporting to our objects. Then we're going to drag in teleport point. We're going to copy and paste this and move it around in our scene. Now if we start up the game, and with my controller, I can teleport to the different teleport points that I set up. You can see the cubes over there, and if I teleport over here, 
It's much closer. Awesome. It works. Now we're going to add in a table so we can set up our throwables. We're going to add in a cube. Copy in these numbers for our table. Next, when we're done with the table, we're going to add in our actual throwables. We're going to add in a small cube, change the scale so it's 0.1 on everything, and move it so it's on top of our table. We're going to add in a material so that we know what's throwable and what's not. Then we're going to go over to add component, search for interactable, and then we're also going to add another component, this time throwable. Now as soon as you add these two scripts in, you're done. This cube is all ready to go. You can change the mass, drag, and other properties to change how the cube will fly when you throw it. I'm going to copy in a couple more cubes so I have more things to throw around. So if I go into my game, and I kneel down, and I can pick it up with my controller, and I can throw it. Oh, it goes so far goes really far. Alright, to change how far the cube will travel, I can change whether it's kinematic, how much drag it has, so if I go over to the cubes and I try to pick one up, Look at that, it falls much slower. It doesn't fly as far. And these ones still fly super far. And that's it for our game. We learned how to add objects to our scene, add teleport pads, and even create throwables. The Steam VR import has so many different prefabs that you can pick from. There's a lot of different things in here that you can use to create your game. So much more that you can add. I suggest you go through and look through all the different things that you can add. Good luck with your game.